Castro. Talk to us about how important uh, the global diamond industry is to the present and to the future of Botswana. I don't think people understand that Botswana's being was because of diamond. If you take diamonds out of our economy, Botswana is a very, very poor country. But because of the foresight of our, of our forefathers, diamond revenues were the driver of our economy. Every walk of Botswana life has been touched by diamonds, natural diamonds for that matter. Yes. The localities where they have been found or mined, all those villages have been transformed into hubs of activity, economic activity, lives have been transformed. So our diamonds for us are the most precious thing to the economy of Botswana. I think it was in 2007, I had a talk with the Honorable Nelson Mandela, and he talked about how important it was for the rest of the world to know uh, about the good that diamonds do in, in Botswana and in South Africa and Angola, all the diamond producing countries. What do you see how diamonds have uh, helped, say, healthcare uh, in, in Botswana? Botswana is the size of Texas with a population of uh, 2.3 million people. And therefore we are generally widely dispersed. So you don't have a population problem? No, not, no, we, we need to grow it. But because of our ability to put clinics, health posts everywhere in the country, within reach of every citizen of the country, that to me demonstrates what Diamond has done for our people. Health is one of the most critical things for any growing economy. A healthy society then breeds a healthy economy, sure. I always say. Then an educated society breeds a healthy economy as well. And therefore, our diamonds, used for healthcare, used for education, used for infrastructure, develop the Botswana that you see.